Just give me a moment, please. <sighs> so, welcome to my new lair. Do you like it? I'm personally a big fan of the colossal dark marble pillars myself. Feels so... fancy. Oh well, yes, of course I splurged on it. And why not make it an aesthetically pleasing destruction? Can you really blame me, hero? What do you mean, what have I been doing? I've been trying to be new, and it seems I've succeeded. Well, yes, I know you've walked here on your own accord, but that's besides the point. Now you're tied up with no way out, so I can finally talk to you. I tell you, if you would just let me monologue. You're not normally this rude, you know. In fact, that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> not just you being rude, thank you very much. I'm talking about the lack of passion. The failing justice that have so many people called unfailing. Is this because of my little stunt as an anti-hero? What? You don't remember that? Not the whole silver and the rich scheme I had back in May? Really? I had a new costume with that and everything. Of course, you probably didn't notice. Yes, the one with the blue accents. See, you do remember. Well, I mean, if you really liked it that much, I suppose I could always give it another shot. Hey, Mike, could you go get that for me? Uh, leave it in my office. I don't really feel like going to the basement right now. And get someone who does have clearance to do it. Thank you. I'm getting off track. You're good at doing that, hero. You know, throwing me off my train of thought. And what was I talking about again? Oh, right! The anti-hero stunt. Honestly, I wouldn't blame you if that's why you've been a bit more... withdrawn lately. It really did not suit me. Aside from my costume, I don't think I was really cut out for being an anti-hero. For starters, I'm not actually an anti-hero. I like heroes. Well, heroes plural might be a bit generous. I like a hero. What? I, I'm, I'm talking about you, idiot. What other hero do you see me graciously allowing into my lair? I even set those card dogs on you. I know how much you like petting them. Are we delighted when you see them? Grinning even in the most serious situation, cooing at them with that adorable voice. <clears throat> but, once again, that is not the point. You've been acting odd for the last couple of months. Don't think I haven't noticed why you've been going solo more often than none. You haven't been in the past five group photos of that little team you were part of. You didn't even show up to my robbery of that bank last week. You... didn't see the point? I know they're corrupt as all hell, that's why I did it. You agreed with me. It, you, the hero, agreed with me. Uh, are you okay? Are you sick? That idiot buffoon of a scientist tried to kill you with some kind of strange poison again? No? Hmm. Well, I'm officially going insane. I knew it would happen at some point. I mean, it's basically a villain pipeline. You go from being a regular everyday person to having one defining moment where you decide you've had enough Screw around with some ridiculous evil schemes for a while, and then at that point, you go insane. Oh, <laughs> sure, I'm already insane. 
<sighs> You're being a little shit. Don't get me wrong, it's kind of cute, but it's also a bit concerning. What happened to that TV persona you always put on? No, I'm not filming. Why would I do that? Just because I live streamed it once, doesn't mean I'll do it again. You made a complete ass out of me last time. It's never gonna happen now. That's never stopped even being the physical embodiment of the Boy Scout spirit. And now you're giving me nothing. Uh, are you okay? You know what? No, you're very obviously not. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm letting you out. Come on. Okay. We're going to the kitchen because you look two seconds away from a breakdown. And I'd rather you be at least somewhat comfortable. And I can make you something to eat, considering how insane your metabolism is. There's absolutely no way you aren't hungry after that fight. Now, you sit down, relax, and talk to me while I get some ingredients out, okay? I'll make some pasta, don't worry, I know your dietary restrictions and all that. I even know the type of super council is you on. Frankly, though, it seems somewhat ridiculous. And unless you personally told me not to, I will elect to ignore it. Good. Now talk. What's going on with you? Hmm. Well, I guess I've considered stopping. It's hard to not have second thoughts sometimes when you commit to something this extreme. Why do you ask? Are you... You what? What do you mean you don't want to be a hero anymore? Was it something I did? No? Then... The council. Those bastards. They've been getting into your head, have they? Well, look, whatever they say, they're not worth it. You're a perfectly capable hero. You have all these casualties per fight of all the heroes in the country. And that's a statistic, not just my opinion. They... don't care about casualties? What? Are you sure they're heroes? I see. So that's why you're having doubts. C could you not just... I don't know, leave the council? Do your own thing? Oh, ew, no. <laughs> You're right. If I can't be an anti-hero, then you certainly can't be either. You might be able to pull off a costume, but not that dynamic. I can't fight an anti-hero. It's too moody. <laughs> well, I'm glad you feel the same about me. You really don't want to do the hero thing anymore, do you? Hmm. I have to admit, I haven't been feeling the drive to find any more either. Mostly just been doing it for a chance to see you again recently. But... You're just gonna wander in here and sit at my counter whilst I cook for you. Keeping half a Zeddy hostage seems a bit, uh... Unnecessary. Oh, now that is a question, isn't it? Would I still be a villain if you weren't a hero? Two sides of the same coin. What happens when one leaves? I suppose... I suppose I wouldn't. There would be no point. Any other hero wouldn't treat me seriously. And we certainly wouldn't be as fun to fight or banter with. And in fact... I have been looking at passing on the organization to this little upstart over by the river. Yeah, that little group that have been dubbed uh, Modern Day Robin Hood and His Merry Men. 
Even if I can't be an anti-hero myself, I can certainly support others who can. How to go about it, though? Faking our deaths? Isn't that a little, uh, cliche? Megamind type beat? Oh, you want to make a spectacle out of it, do you? Have a fight in the middle of the city? Perfectly choreographed? Oh, that is a great idea! Make it look like we destroyed each other? Good! I can make that work, can't I? Make it look believable? After all, people really thought I hospitalized you that week in April last year when you went on that vacation. There were letters and gifts and flowers and everything. And maybe we could convince people to donate to charity with an effort instead. You know, go out with a bang. Of course I'm willing to help you. Why on earth would I not? Hate you? No? Didn't I just say a few minutes ago that I like you? I enjoy our time together, you idiot. If you're going down, I'm going down with you. That's not how the saying goes? Huh. Well, that's how it goes for me. Hey, could you hand me the... Yeah, thanks. Look, idiotic saying or not, I'm with you, alright? We'll fake our deaths and go to New Zealand or something. Heroes and villains never show up there. Oh, this layer isn't all that precious to me. I may have been lying about the pillars. Pretty sure I got scammed, which is kind of pathetic, but as I said, I'm somewhat losing my touch. The architect just seemed happy to have a chance to let loose, and I couldn't really say no with how proud he looked. Hopefully the next owners will do with it so I don't have to feel bad. I am not a softy, okay? Well, maybe I am, but you're more of a little shit than you let on, so you have no foam ground to stand on. I, look, I do not get flushed when you tease me. Not only are you a little shit, but you're a liar too. <laughs> Fuck it. Fine. I'm a big softy. You happy? I... I haven't heard you laugh like that in a while. It's, uh... It's nice. Right. The sauce. Let me just put all of this together and leave it on the stove for a bit. There we go. Let's go for 10 minutes of intermittent stirring. What? Uh, no. I didn't memorize your favorite pasta recipe. What are you talking about? <laughs> you memorized that brownie recipe I talked about? Huh. Have you tried them? <laughs> told you they were good. Well, maybe I can make some to celebrate once they're both legally dead, hmm? That sound alright to you? Sit on a rooftop somewhere, eating the brownies while the city is in chaos over the death of both of their persistent villain and beloved hero. Equal parts relief and sorrow. That seems fitting, doesn't it? Hey, what are you- Oh, uh, thanks. Didn't have to set the table. Well, if you're feeling very awkward about not helping out, you can always create some parmesan while I give this a stir. <laughs> Second thought. No, you, look, you're gonna have to go take a shower. I'm sorry, but you fucking stink. You went through the sewers? Ugh! Go! Shower now, just get, get get out. Look, you can borrow some of my clothes. Excuse me, I do so have comfortable clothes. Believe it or not, my entire wardrobe isn't just dark leather and spandex. Huh. Head to the first door on the left, down the hall to the master bedroom. May as well use the on screen while you're there. Pick whatever you want from my closet. Dinner should be ready by the time you're done. Yes, yes, whatever. You don't have to thank me. Just 
Think of it as payback for throwing you into that building last week. No. Shoo! <laughs> Idiot. I thought you hated me. What a load of rubbish. Guess it's up to me to look after the dumbass. Hey guys and gals, um, Zan here, hope you enjoyed this audio, and this was just a really fucking good script, like holy shit, man, such a fucking good script, such a good script, uh, shout out to, um, no, hold on, I, I gotta cut the thing up, shout out to, uh, uh f fooling drop bear on, on Reddit for running this script, um, Man, that was, a, that was a really good script. I haven't really seen anything of this nature, really. Like, this whole villain it, vi villain archetype shit getting twisted on its head like that. I like the dynamic. The dynamic is really, really good. Like, wow. Really fucking good. Um, Just re really... Sigoi, sigoi this in there. Sigoi this in there. It, it was just... It was just like a really good script. I don't know if I did the tone properly. I think I was going from more of like a jokey tone the whole time, but I don't really know if that worked uh, during the more serious parts of it. Maybe it did. I, I don't know. I think it was just like a little bit too lighthearted. We should have been like a bit serious. I, I, I don't really know. I mean, maybe I'm just like fucking myself silly because, you know, I'm, I am pretty dumb. So, uh, so yeah. But anyway, anyway, um, how are you guys doing today? You guys having a good, good day? Good day? Bad day? Good day? But but good day, bad, good day, bad day. Jesus Christ, I cannot speak. Um, I guess I'm having an okay day. I guess. <sighs> I don't know, really. My day's been like kind of hid. Hold on. Ah, sorry about that. Um, my mom just came back and. Came in my room, she's like, oh, what are you doing? Da, 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 da. And I just had to say, oh, I'm recording, lol. Um, yeah. So if you can have like footsteps in the background. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, how are you guys doing today? You guys having a good day? All that stuff, yeah? Um, doing okay, I guess. I, I don't really know. Um, kind of having a shit day? Kind of? Kind of? Like, I, I woke up at... Uh, fucking like half one, p.m. p.m. like p p.m. like penis m. That wasn't funny. <laughs> it wasn't funny. Um, yeah. So, um, I had a I had a pretty shit day so far, I guess. Um, and yeah, it's Sunday, so I'm kind of feeling shit. But hey, hey, you know why not? Um, I think today I'm gonna try and finish a horror game I've been playing. Um, it's it's like a horror puzzle game. It's called Scorn, dude. It is fucking disgusting. It is disgusting. Oh my god, it's disgusting and so gross. Ugh, ugh. Like you, you base ah, oh, like it, you fucking. Oh, it it's just like one of the most gruesome games ever. But it is. Just a good game in general, so yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna finish it today. Um, I just had something to do today, I guess. Um, but other than that, I don't really know what I'm gonna do today. Uh, I, gu I guess I'll just see what happens. And, um, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't really fucking know. Well, uh, I don't even know what to do for the fucking character on the thumbnail. Oh, fuck me. Um, I guess, uh, I guess we'll go on to question of the day, but I don't know what to do with question of the day. I guess we can do, uh, fucking, I don't know. I don't know what to do for. I don't know. I don't know what to do for the question of the day. Like, unless I'm fucking retarded. Oh, I'm gonna get cancelled for that, aren't I? Oh no, I'm gonna get cancelled. Um. 
<laughs> um yeah um yeah my, my question of the day is like do you like horror stuff um or like you can be horror games uh horror fucking i, I don't know what else is that horror games horror movies like all of that stuff um to be honest i hate everything horror i i, I get scared so fucking easily like it's not even funny but, uh, but score on this game I'm playing is like one thing I can tolerate because it's not like, it's not jump scary horror. You know, it's just like the ambience and shit. It's the environment that makes you just, ugh, makes you fucking cringe. It makes you fucking shit your pants. Like, it's all not just the atmosphere that really gets you. So, yeah. Um, I, I would say I, I don't like jump scares. And I, I don't like all of that other stuff. I hate jump scares. I fucking hate jump scares. I hate jump scares because there's no fucking... Like, it's not good. It's not good to be... To get scared by a jump scare. It's just like... It's just a fucking jump scare, you know? Like, it doesn't make sense. Uh, to me, anyway. Y you know what I mean? Like, it, 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 it's just dumb. It's shit. I, I don't like jump scares. Do you like jump scares? I don't like jump scares. Sorry. Um, anyway, I'm probably gonna go, cause like, I don't know what the fuck to say, um, and I wanna make food, cause I'm so fucking hungry, you don't even understand, uh, like, I think all I ate yesterday, uh, I just had, like, pasta, uh, and, and that was it, like, I just had, like, two bowls of pasta, and that was it. Pasta, sorry, pasta, pasta, pasta. How do you say pasta? I mean, how do you say pasta? Do you say it like pasta, like like British people, or do you say it like Americans say it like pasta? Um, cause cause I'm British in nature, uh, I I still say pasta, but I, I don't know my my pronunciation pronunciation kind of flip flops between them because I don't know I'm fucking weird. Anyway, anyway, enough about me. Um, I'm gonna go. So you know, have a nice day, all of that stuff, and. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. So bye-bye. 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 Have a nice day. Bye. Oh, I forgot to fucking... There we go.